Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so from somebody who has spent a lot of time worrying, stressing over where they are in life, trying to really find what success means for them after working really, really hard in a career and everything being on the surface great in life, trust me, trust yourself, it's all going to be okay. Give yourself just that. It's all going to be okay. And you know what? You've got this. You've absolutely got this. Sometimes we need to stop and tell ourselves that. Now, it may sound quite silly in a way to think that actually you're in control. Believe you me, when you're in the middle of something which is quite absorbing and you're trying to chase success or you're trying to get on top of ill health or your relationship's not particularly great or you're worried about let's say financial issues, or for example, education, you've got an exam coming up, a promotion coming up, an interview. We don't always necessarily think clearly. And you have to think clearly to be your best you. So what I would always say is to stop. Take a moment. If you're working in an environment where you can just take a, a short walk and you can get that space, that headspace, that clarity, then do so. If you're in a relationship, Take a break, a short break. If you're having problems financially, seek help. Chat with somebody impartial. If it's something which is really small, talk to somebody. Talk to a family member. If it's something which is big, seek advice. Because honestly, you've got this. The moment you take a step back and you start to evaluate what's actually causing you all of this anxiety, and sometimes it's getting to the point where it's starting to affect you, usually on your well-being, on your mental health, then that's a real cry out for help in here. And you know what? Ultimately, when you start asking those questions, I know for a fact that I'm sitting right here and I'm going to say to you, you've got this. It's all going to be OK. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself. You're stronger than you believe. You're stronger than you think. And you'll surprise yourself where that tenacity, that strength, that resilience comes from. Nobody, nobody wants to hold a sign and say that you failed or you've let yourself down. Number one, in most circumstances in life, you have never ever let yourself down. What you've done is you've taken a turning to a different end solution or resolution, or you're going to come back to it later. And that's perfectly fine to say. If you're going through something right now and you're thinking to yourself that actually, I can't do this. That's OK. But what you can't turn around and say to yourself is, I cannot do this. I'm leaving it. I'm walking away. Never, ever walk away. For me to say, I can't do this right now, but I'm going to come back to it in a couple of weeks time. And I'm going to go away. I'm going to put it in my diary. I'm going to send myself a reminder for that time. and I'm going to jump straight into it. And I'm going to pick it up then. But now I need that space to breathe. That is fine. That is the clarity and a benchmark of somebody who is successful already, my friends, to be quite honest with you. And I'm not sat here saying that I am, but I'm saying to you, if you're watching this clip, you're on that journey, you're on that right road to getting where you want to be. And that could be, as I say, family issues, relationship issues, monetary issues. That could be career. That could be schooling. If you're watching this and you're at any age at all, remember, age is merely only a number, whether you're 18, 88, 108. As long as you've got breath in your body and your mind is still healthy and well, and you enjoy good health, you can do it. If you're in poor health, you can still do it, but you're just going to have to give yourself a little bit extra time and take care of yourself. But please remember, you're in control. This is your life. So often in today's society, we are dealing with bombardments from social media, from something as the news turning on first thing in the morning, literature, which we see a lot of online media where we must act this way. We must deal with a certain situation and it all must happen now. Now, I am a true believer in never putting off what you can do today, but there comes a time when actually, if you're doing so much and so much of your headspace is absorbed by stressing and over exerting yourself, it trying to plan and sort things out. And you've got this whole sort of hypothetical rucksack full of real heavy baggage you're carrying around with, whether that be a whole spectrum of things in your life. In the end, 
You're going to get to one day, and you're going to go, I'm going to go for it, and you're going to fall flat. Remember, you are in control. You've got this. Have faith in yourself. But it doesn't mean to say it's all got to be done today. Literally, set yourself goals. And I think the most important step here is knowing when it's becoming an issue and hypothetically taking that step back or raising your back and saying, actually, do you know what? I'm struggling. And that's OK because I'm not giving up. I need to speak to somebody who's out there, family members, friends, they want to help. And if not, there are services, charities and things out there to be able to help as well. If you do not want to put yourself to that spectrum, believe you me, there is a friend or a family member. Next time somebody says to you, even at work, if somebody, and I say even at work, because like me, I always keep a certain professional um, sort of status impression in front of people. And if somebody says to me, you okay? I go, yes, I'm fine. Thank you very much. And I turn it back around to them. If it's someone who I've known for a long time and I'm close with, then I open up. But if you're someone who never opens up and if someone says to you, even at work or if uh, you're passing a store or somebody goes to you, and I've done this in stores, by the way, out sort of uh, grocery shopping on my own or one thing or another or in sort of clothes stores, one thing or another, and somebody can go to you, are you OK? And when it's all got too much, I've gone, do you know what? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm really not. But I will be. And then someone will start asking you a question. And even if it's a five minute conversation, that five minute conversation takes a little bit of stress. It takes a little bit of burden off of you to think that actually you can break away from this. You can have that conversation and break away from your stresses and worries. You know, it's incredible when you take a step back, what you actually see. Think of it like a hypothetical image. You're staring at a window or even a mirror, for example. And this mirror to you seems perfect. You've got the amazing relationship, but yet something's still not quite right. You think you've got it financially. You think you've got the perfect job. And staring at you all the time, you've got this perfect, beautiful, pristine mirror reflection of your whole life planned out. Incredible. One day it all gets a bit much. It all comes crashing down. Sometimes that can happen just by the smallest thing happening. And when it's where it's built up so much and you've been telling yourself, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, wallpapering over and over and over these things. And actually, deep down inside, there is something. Once you take a step back, you will see that mirror has got a great big crack in it. And that great big crack is what's missing in your life. Think about it. When we take a step back from things, we truly have the headspace to see to perceive, to take in what is the problem. Now, that could be merely something small, somebody to talk to. That could be that your finances is in such a mess that you need somebody to help you. It could be that you're so much suffering with your health, you need a sim just a simple follow-up appointment to get you on the right road again, the right medication, the right treatments. The thing is, so many of us are going through so many different things. But what we don't do is we don't acknowledge that we are all human, especially men. They don't acknowledge, I sometimes don't acknowledge that you know, sometimes we all need someone to talk to. Sometimes we all need a moment to breathe. Sometimes we all need to take a step back and actually think, do you know what? I'm not OK. How many times have you walked past somebody and you thought, wow, they're really established, they're on top form. You can just tell that they're they're really, really, they're on the highway in life going there. I bet you they're not. I bet you they're not. I bet you they're full of worry, but yet the, the image they want people to perceive is in control and that they're fine, they've got the best of everything. And you know what? Actually, from experience of knowing people like that, and even myself, sometimes the image we convey is completely worlds apart of what's actually going on. To look at me, for example, you think that I was healthy. I am right now, I'm saying, but I'm going through a huge amount of health problems and things at the moment. It's scary. I could ball into tears, to be quite honest with you. Do you see what I mean? Perception. When we take a step back and when we learn that skill, and of course, this comes with life experience as well. However, some people are gifted with it throughout the whole of life. 
if you're soft-hearted, if you take things to heart, then I'm going to put that out there because I'm like that, then it will take you a little while. Or somebody who's quite arrogant, not meaningly, but somebody who's quite sort of forthright out there, confident. They may struggle, they may not. There are so many things to think about here. And that's why I wanted to give that little bit of an insight to think that actually, you've got this. You have 100% got this. Have faith in yourself. Have that respect for yourself. Find that burning light inside. We've got it. We've absolutely got it. And if you haven't, light it. Have a word with yourself and have faith with yourself. You've got this. You're going to be absolutely fine. Whatever you're going through right now, from my heart to yours, I wish you the very, very, very warmest of wishes. And actually, take time for yourself, because that's where it's all going to start. And you're thinking, actually, that I can't start to break this wall down because if it starts to come down, it's going to absolutely crumble. Do you know what? Try not to worry about that. Because when that first tumbling bricks start coming down, you may even start to see the real you. Yes, you'll hit vulnerability. Yes, you'll be upset. You'll be a whole world of emotion. But if you're someone who, for a very, very long time, has been thinking, do you know what? I really, really can't do this. But to the world, you're saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine. There's only so many times you can keep saying that. And one day, literally, quite literally, you're just crack. Remember the analogy we used about the mirror? Looking right at you, you've got this amazing, it's completely polished. You're telling everybody that you're fine, you're absolutely fine. But yet in here, when you're on your own, when you go to bed at night, when you have that split second, when you're getting ready in the morning, you think to yourself, what's that feeling? What am I missing? Is it career? Is it finances? Is it relationship? Is it personal issues? Is it worries, fears, health? Honestly, step back. You have got this. You can do this. You'll get there. If you'd like to leave me a question, if you'd like to leave me a comment down below, if you think, where on earth are you getting all this from? Ask me a question. For me, it's health, unfortunately. I wish I could go back years ago, I really do, to when my health was a lot better at times. I'm getting there again, I'm going through some issues at the moment, and um, there's something really big around the corner for me. But um, we won't go into that on this one, but I'm okay. I'm okay, um, just to put that out there. But um, do you see what I'm doing there? I'm okay. I'm not ready, do you see? When someone's not ready to talk about it, I'm okay. That barrier, that wall goes up. I've done it there and then. But honestly, I will talk about this. Not just yet. And that's okay. I'm not giving up. Just not yet. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing this clip with me. Thank you very much for being there and watching this. God bless. Take great care. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.